Next we're going to take a look at frequency modulation in terms of its noise performance and we're going to first look at the high signal to noise ratio case. First of all we recall from chapter 6 that the relationship between the power spectral density of our output process with respect to the input process is governed by this uh, block diagram. Here we have our power spectral density a PSD of our input. We have some type of linear time invariant system and we have our power spectral density of the output. From chapter 6 we have the relationship between GY of F and GX of F and is governed by this relationship. The corresponding time description is the autocorrelation of the input process with the autocorrelation of the output process. So we're going to use this relationship to describe the power spectral density of the output. Now for FM, in order to extract the message, you need to take the derivative of the frequency modulated signal in order to extract the message from it that's embedded in the carrier frequency. Whenever you take the derivative, we replace this linear time invariant system with the derivative function, you get at the output a combination of the AM and FM signal. So what we did, as you recall earlier from previous slides, is that we have this expression for our noise in the FM case. We take the derivative of our error in the noise angle and we take the derivative with respect to ns. All this stuff right here in front of this derivative of dns dt is a constant. Okay, so we replace this linear time invariant system with a derivative and a derivative in the frequency domain in terms of hertz is jf. So hence, this is what's at our input. Review the previous slides. If you don't recall, that's our power spectral density of our input. And there it's our out output power spectral density is governed by this expression. Hence, we just multiply this expression with the magnitude of this, which is F. And since we're squaring it, the magnitude squared, it becomes F squared. So we just basically have this expression multiplied by F squared appearing as the power spectral density of our output. And this occurs within the transmission bandwidth and zero otherwise. Okay. So here, since we're using a low pass filter now, we're just grabbing from minus B to B. Okay. So our power spectral of the noise is described by that, but when we extract the message, we only want up to the B such that we get high fidelity with respect to our message frequency content. So that's how we describe our power spectral density noise, which has a parabolic shape which appears after the discriminator, which is another word for taking the derivative of an FM modulated signal. Okay, we saw that our power spectral density of our FM signal consists of a post-detection noise having a parabolic shape, which goes from minus B to B when we integrate the amount of power. So that's what we're going to do is figuring out the power of our first signal and then set po noise power at the FM demodulated output. Again our key feature is taking the derivative of our FM signal which is embedded in our angle. Hence what we have is KFD delta F max squared multiplied by the expectation of our normalized signal which is just governed by this expression here. So the overhead straight line right here is basically means that's our expected value. So that's that's our mean of our mean squared. 
Next is our noise power spectral density. We can see that it's a parabolic shape governed by this. And so now when we finish calculating, we're going to integrate this expression from minus b to b. Okay, so there's our signal power. Here's our noise. We're going to integrate it from minus b to b. And so you can see all this here and here is a constant. So we can pull that out. So here's this kf right there. And 0 is right here. And now we're integrating f squared. All right. But we're integrating f squared. That becomes f cubed. And then we divide that by 3 as a result of that integration. And the 2 appears here due to the integration from minus b to b. So this is our final result of the amount of noise power in our FM signal when we integrate this power spectral density.